Hey, my name is Carlos Castillo. I'm from Long Beach, California. You know, I've just been out here traveling, but you know, here to support. Hello, my name is Sergio. This is Yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm uh, Anthony Madrid II from uh, Detroit, Michigan. You know, the only one, 313. And uh, I'm here to get this nice presentation. Who here in their life has experienced a defining moment? Something that has altered your perception on life? A traumatic experience or a hard relationship that you think has shaped you into the way you are today? What if I told you it was not the experience itself that shaped you, but the way you processed it? I just I said how the one. Take one. Action. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Viviana, and I also have my fair share of negative thoughts. The quote from Stoic philosopher Epictetus, circumstances don't make the man, they only reveal him to himself. You might remember this from my informative briefing. It means what you just heard. The situations you go through are not you. You are not your childhood. You are not your upbringing. You are not your trauma. What you are is simply showing your responses to these situations embed it into your subconscious and create what seems to be a permanent negative thought on a certain aspect of your life. The first step of getting rid of this, understand it. To start this process, you must stop the other one. Stop blaming luck, stop playing, blaming people, and stop pointing to the outside influencers or society. You cannot dwell in any blame game in your life. Blaming yourself is even useless. Yes, there are circumstances that you may feel you cannot control, such as a disease or the death of a loved one or a disability. But there's always something you can do to impact the circumstances, even if you still cannot see a way. To do this, you must be willing. Willing, by definition, is equality or state of being prepared readiness. Accept that while there are things that have happened in your life that you have no say in, you are 100% responsible for what you do with your life in the aftermath of those events. Willingness is a state that we engage in everyday life and let us see it in a more positive perspective. And no one can make you willing but yourself. You may find yourself saying, I am willing, but the but in that interrupted statement, no matter the excuse, turns you into the victim. Imagine willingness missing from your life. Would you be where you are right now? Weren't you willing to grow this big when you were a child? Weren't you willing to travel the world or get out of your hometown when you joined your career you so happen to be in right now? Were you willing to earn that promotion or get that car, or more simpler terms, walk to your room, or play a video game, or drink a beer or two on the weekend? Whatever life situation, think about it. You were willing and it happened. Now imagine willing to be happier, not wanting, but willing. Imagine the potential you have right now just by understanding that you have every control to change your outlook on life to be more successful. Fate leads the willing and drags along the reluctant. A quote by Seneca. Life won't stop for pauses, procrastination, delusion, or fear. Before you can say, I am willing, to yourself, ask yourself, am I willing? Am I willing to go to the gym? Am I willing to face social fears? Am I willing to fix the problems in my relationship? Are you willing to stop living the life you had and start living the life that you're after? It is all within you. We often view ourselves as lazy or unmotivated. In truth, we're simply unwilling. We tell ourselves we don't want to do it or we can't do it. Instead of viewing this as a character view or a character flaw, 
let's create a spark for potential. But what if you found yourself answering these questions as, no, I'm not willing, unwilling. In many cases, that might be the best answer you can give. Sometimes declaring your unwillingness can be just as powerful. Are you willing to live in that unhealthy body? No. Are you willing to continue living paycheck to paycheck? No. Are you willing to stay in your unsustainable relationship? You're unwilling. This word can provide you with determination. Only when you are unwilling to continue feeling unfulfilled or unsatisfied will you make the effort necessary to make a change. Which one works for you? Are you willing? Or are you un sometimes it doesn't matter what you ask yourself or how many times you've said it you cannot muster the willingness to start anything you may be the one of the well-known starters but not finishers why is that because you have been all too willing to stay the same being unwilling to change what you think you want somehow being okay with where you are in life at some level you have tolerance having your your life turn out the way it has. Getting straight with yourself about having made the decision to stay where you are can be just as powerful as the decision to change. You're willingly putting yourself in a place where you're unhappy, but understanding that you have cognitively put yourself here also means you can cognitively take yourself out. Conclusion, the grace of acceptance. Embrace what has been and dare yourself to reach for a brighter future. My name is Viviana and that is the end of my persuasive speech.